Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Afron Framble, and here are the games, movies, and shows I'm looking forward to in this brand shiny new year in January 2023. Happy New Year. We had a decent fourth quarter last year with games like Pokemon Scarlet and Violent and Crisis Core Reunion, Final Fantasy VII. This year, my most anticipated games are, of course, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Final Fantasy XVI, and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, I'm not holding my breath for Rebirth in 2023, but next winter is close enough to really ride the hype train, even though I've been conductor of my own hype train since July. All that being said, January is light on game content releasing. There's nothing being released that I'm really excited for, but I have uh, plenty to play, and I'm happy as a clam playing Pokemon games and Final Fantasy stuff. I've been playing 14, just the free trial at the time of this recording, I don't know if I've purchased the full version by the time this video comes out, uh, but it's very likely I will have. I enjoy uh, Realm Reborn enough to mosey through it. I've also been playing both Pokemon Scarlet and going back to play Legends Ar Arceus, Arceus, however you want to say it, I guess. Pokedex completing isn't really good for YouTube content, so I'm sticking with the story-heavy content like Final Fantasy. I know Pokemon games have decent stories, but that's not the main draw for those games. For movies, the MCU isn't starting Phase 5 movies until February with Quantumania. Until then, nothing Marvel, and really nothing else I've anticipated. The 355 looks alright, but it's nothing's going to really bring me to, out to the theaters in January. I should mention that right before the time of recording this, we got trailers for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and Indiana Jones 5. Um, and those will, will come out later. Um, I'm not sure about Indiana Jones 5, but I know the others, the, a lot of Marvel stuff, it comes out within the year that the tra first trailer is released or, I don't know, six months up to the time. Because they, they, they really keep uh, cranking out these movies. Um, so another Super Mario Brothers trailer also dropped, and I don't like it, but I think I'm going to have to live with Chris Pratt's voiceover. Even just the little woohoo uh, he did was enough... Uh, to hate it a little bit less. Um, I don't know if that was his voice or maybe Charles Martinet, um, but or maybe Chris Pratt was coached uh, a little bit to, to kind of do the woo-hoos. Um, and I, I started thinking as I was watching that trailer um, about the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, how he had a completely different voice than that. Um, and, you know, I just started thinking, this is just another take on it. I know there have been, have been so many games where Charles Martinet uh, did the voiceover, and so that's why we're so used to it, and a lot of people are, are, have been um, really upset by the new direction the voiceover is going, and I count myself as among them. Um, I'm just so used to, uh, you know, Super Mario 64, I've played that game so many times, and um and I'm just so used to that high-pitched Italian voice. Even if Chris Pratt had made his voice just a little bit higher in his register, it wouldn't have been so bad. Maybe done a little bit more of a, an Italian sort of voice. I don't know. Um, but it, it just seemed like Emmett from the Lego movie. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe a cup. you know, if they throw on a few more lines where he's doing just kind of a goofy... Uh, you know, Mario noises that he normally does, like, oof, when he knocks into a wall or something, it might not be so bad. Uh, so I might reserve a little bit of my disdain for the casting choice. So on streaming services, there's nothing interesting coming out on Netflix. Disney Plus continues with Willow. Uh, the first two episodes are pretty good. Um, I mean, as of as of recording this, um, the whole month of December should have more than when this video comes out. I don't know if I said that right, but you get the idea. Uh, National Treasure also, uh, and season two of The Bad Batch comes out on the 4th. Uh, so now I know where all my anticipation will be focused on for January streaming. It seems like Disney Plus has consistently had at least one fresh property each month between Marvel and Star Wars content. Netflix tends to deliver a lot of content, and viewers have to sh sift through the huge pile of movies and shows to find the hidden gems. It's like the bargain bin at Walmart. Um, I know Wednesday was really popular. I'm not sure 
how much of that they're going to come out with. Uh, but I have oh, I watched one episode so far as of this recording, um, and I might I might get through I might go through the first season and see how that goes. Um, there there is a little bit of that um, kind of awkward Disney Channel youth kind of feel. I know it's not Disney. It's Tim Burton, I know, but I don't know who the, the studio was that produced it. Um, and I had a conversation with somebody who who said, you know, I don't think I don't think I see what you're seeing with like the Disney Channel flow vibe in there with the kids who are like, I'm cool because I'm on a show. Um, it, there there was stuff in there that could remind you of that, but the execution of the acting and uh, and and the choices made by the directors and the actors uh, were better than that, and it wasn't. It it reminded me of that Disney Channel feeling, but it wasn't done in that way. Um, so if I hadn't seen all those all that silly Disney Channel content and um, and seen the way that people ham it up and overact, uh, I might have not been reminded of that and I might not have have placed such a judgment on this show so maybe I'll also reserve my judgment on that I'm feeling very judgy recently between that and the Mario movie uh, trailers uh, so yeah maybe I'll stay more open-minded for those but anyway those are the things I'm most excited for in January let me know what you are looking forward to in the comments and thanks for watching <laughs>